All right, up to our HubSpot sales feature of the week, and this is to do with automating feedback from contacts. Um, so it's actually initiating a contact feedback on deals that have no activity. So in this example, it's a customer of ours where the, we, they're at a decision stage of making a purchase. So essentially, they've done all the work. They've got they've got the price, the products there. And what they do, what we do here is we had a lot of people getting stuck in here and a lot of manual follow-up happening. So what we did was we automated that. And what we essentially did was we said um, that we want to do when they get into this particular stage where they're making a, a decision, we want to send them an email. Now in that email, you will see there are two things that we get them to do. So we, we reiterate the value proposition in there about taking away the risk because there's a 100% money money back guarantee. You can return it within 30 days. But here's the two things that we want someone to do. We want them either to opt out. So they've just, they've decided not to go ahead with the purchase or they are no longer interested. So we want them, we want to get them out of the system or we want to mark them as not having to be contacted again. The next one, it says, I'm still interested, but I need more time, right? So generally we find people get stuck because they're waiting for something. So we when you click that link, it actually goes to a form and the form asks you a question. There are two questions on there. So Craig, if you just scroll down, you'll see what that says. It says, I need more information or I need more time. Now in the, I need more time, we have a subsequent question that comes up that says, you know, what's reasonable? One month, three months, I think in six months. So what we then do is, or two, or sorry, one, two and three months we have. Then what we do is we go through and then set, uh, have a call another workflow to set a task at those um, interval periods so the contact Mm. owner can contact them. So it's quite simple, you know, the contact enrollment. And then you're probably looking at, uh, and then the workflow basically puts the task into the contact owner's queue on the, at the appropriate time. Now you'll probably be asking me, why do we not put the task in immediately? And I'll tell you why. A, it seems to clog up people's task queues and they think I've got to do this even though it's got a later date on it. The second thing is when you're setting a task in a workflow, you can set it at a particular date, but you can't say I want it 30 days from now and set it as the, as the date. So you can choose a date, but you can't actually set a date in the future based on that. So what we do is it when it goes into the branching, it basically waits there until that time and then goes and creates the task. And that's the reason we do it. I love this. That's a great little recipe. Sales deal automation recipe right there. Love it. And okay. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, Craig, the, the flip side of this is you need to make sure that your pipeline's clean. So in a few instances, people have bought stuff uh, people on the team have forgotten to move the deal into the closed one and we they get responses like, hey, I bought something like two, two weeks ago. Why am I getting this email? So it really puts the onus. There's a bit of onus on both sides is to keep your deal pipeline clean and see what's going on. I, I think that's a good point to highlight because people want automation. You say, oh, do you want us to automate things? Oh, yeah, of course. So then you automate it. Oh, I forgot to do something and it automa- automatically did something. Can we stop it doing that? I was like... No, that's the whole point of automation. So what you're highlighting there is really good reminder. If you want automation, yeah, good. That's great. But make sure you've got the process and discipline to follow up so that automation doesn't actually make you look inept. (laughs) So which is what you're highlighting there. Automation needs to be a good thing. 